Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak again. Uh, this is a picture that uh, somebody sent me of their tank. And uh, it's uh, a 40 gallon community tank with 12 rainbows, 4 angels, 10 quarry cats, 8 dinos, uh, Otis Inclius, he's got 8 of them, 15 red nose tetras, and 12 cardinal tetras. Plants with no CO2, therefore slow growers. And he uses a plenum and he uses a noxic filter in this particular aquarium. Anyhow, uh, he sent me something that there was a um, video done just recently, uh, Bentley Posco, recent video. And this has been going on for years, 30, 40 years, people saying this. And he said he just watched a video of his, and he talks about um, the anoxic filter, and he says the anoxic filter is dependent on a few fish and more plants. Uh, that is 100% incorrect. Uh, that is misinformation. People that give that information are 100% wrong. Uh, I don't know why they keep saying that. Uh, and ponds, when people use an anoxic filtration system, they, uh, they will add plants to the anoxic filter because with koi, you cannot put plants really in a koi pond. The koi will literally destroy the plants. If you have uh, water lilies, anything, they'll literally just eat the water lilies as they're uh, very young coming up, the tubers leaves are coming up. So koi will completely destroy a um, plant. So what they do is they like uh, the anoxic filter because it has baskets and in the baskets if you want you can put a tuber of a water lily or uh, cattails or whatever you would like. You plant it up the same way, kitty litter, laterite, that's it. No fertilizer tablets are to be used and uh, the plants grow great. No problems at all. All the photos that you are looking at are all of anoxic filter. All being used in ponds with the fish and the fish load that uh, they have is unbelievable. Now I'm going to tell you, there's a, a guy who uh, I work with. We used to work together. Uh, he is a uh, electrical engineer. He had a 3,000 gallon pond. His name's Tony Battagula. He uh, he had uh, uh, during pond tour. He had his pond open. He was using an anoxic filter, and guys came over, and uh, they looked at his pond and they said, uh, "Wow, your your pond looks real clean and clear." He said, "Oh yeah, yeah. Well, where's your filter?" He said, "Oh, I'm using uh, Doctor Novak's anoxic filter over there," and uh, they looked at it and he says, uh, I got a skimmer over on this corner of the pond, which most ponds have skimmers. And uh, he said, oh, but I am using a UV light, you know, and most ponds that are koi related do have UV lights. I would say, you know, 90% uh, of them usually use UV lights on them. And they're looking at it and they said, well, uh, where's the rest of the filter? And Tony looked at him and said, uh, oh, what do you mean? And he said, well, in order to have water quality like this, with the amount of fish you have, you have to have another filter, you know. And Tony said, no, 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 I just, I, I use the anoxic filter. That's it, nothing, nothing more. There's no added filters on here. It just gets, goes to the skimmer. From the skimmer, it goes to the anoxic filter, anoxic filter. The water goes through that and goes back into the pond. They didn't believe him. They actually, oh no, they actually went into his garage and was looking for equipment. Well, you know, all Tony has in his garage, being an electrical engineer, is electrical stuff, electrical motors, things like that. That's what Tony deals in, and he used to help me with uh, electrical motors and stuff or ponds, and it's, he could rebuild them, and he knew how to figure out the horsepower of them and everything else. Anyhow, they would not believe him. But this has been going on for years. People would come over to my place, even with DVMs, and literally test my water out. 
with a professional DVM and a doctor of veterinary medicine and bring in a professional test kits like Lamont and test out my water because no one could, could believe that the pond with the amount of fish in it was stable and that it didn't it wasn't using a ton of plants and I said no the plants you see that are in there are just from some water lilies but no they there's not enough plants to take care of this amount of fish the point I'm trying to show is the anoxic filter is not plant reliant in other words it's not a veggie filter so when uh, Bentley did his uh, video he could have called me he could have wrote me he could have talked to me he could have asked me questions but instead of people just make a video and they turn around and they make a statement and the statement is a hundred percent false and there's proof of that all over the world everyone who makes an oxy filter it is not plant reliant or plant dependent Plants are an option when you use an anoxy filter. Even with a plenum, plants are optional. If you want to make a plenum, and let's say you have an Oscar tank, or you have uh, African cichlids, mabunas, or Tanganyika cichlids, or something that's going to dig, or uh, geophagus cichlids, um, you're maybe not going to want plants, or very few plants. You just design the filter so if they do dig, they can only dig very shallow before they'd hit like a screen or something, and they can't rearrange the topography of the aquarium. Very simple. But it's not dependent upon plants. Plenums are not dependent upon plants, neither are anoxic filters. I really don't know, for the sake of argument, where people come up with that notion that anoxic filters are plant dependent. And this has been going on ever since this filter has been introduced to hobbyists because they assume hobbyists like to have plants in their ponds and therefore they will put the plants in the anoxic filter that it's, oh, it's a veggie filter. I said, no, because you see lots of filters that uh, don't have very many plants in the anoxic filter and yet the ponds are doing great. So it's not relying upon vegetation, like a veggie filter is relying upon vegetation. I said, if it was a veggie filter, I'd just tell you it's a veggie filter. And it's not a veggie filter. It's an anoxic filter. So there's a big, huge difference between a veggie filter and an anoxic filter. The big difference, and I'm going to explain it to you, is bacteria. One depends on bacteria and not plants. The other one depends on plants more so than bacteria. Anoxic filters and plenums depend on bacteria. They complete the nitrogen cycle as we know it, the whole nitrogen cycle, not just ending up with nitrates, but actually converting nitrates into a nitrogen gas, which goes out in the atmosphere. This has been proven by several people, several doctors, several research, why people repetitively keep saying that anoxic filters need plants, that's wrong. And I'm more than willing to available to talk to people if they want, some of these YouTubers and stuff like that, but they don't want to talk to me. They, they refuse to even want to talk to you. They refuse to even want to find out the facts. And when people don't want to find out the facts, okay, then you need to be leery about what they're saying. Because if they're not even going to do a simple thing as get the facts straight, then how can you trust them on anything else? And uh, like I said, I've never watched the video myself, but these are just emails I've been getting in with people saying that uh, they're making claims now that it's basically dependent upon plants. That is for reassurance to everybody who's listening to my videos. That is 100% false. It's misinformation. And these people who are saying it ought to be ashamed of themselves because they are giving misinformation out to the public on purpose. It's the only thing I can think of.
because I've made more than enough videos and explained it several times that anoxy filters are not dependent upon plants, neither are plenums. So let's get that straight right now. They're dependent upon bacteria that live in a specialized condition called anoxy conditions. Anoxic is what's used for the aquatic and it, hypoxic or something like that would be used if you're using medical. But anoxic conditions is what we would call it, but still not void of oxygen, but still have oxygen. And the bacteria is dependent upon that specialized oxygen requirements of two parts per million and less, but not void of oxygen then you get into sulfate-reducing bacteria. So I thought I would do this short video just to let everybody know that this is wrong information. Don't worry about it. A lot of people are asking me, hey, we're, we're all of a sudden seeing that they're, they're claiming the anoxic filter is dependent upon plants. And, and no, it's not. It never has. Plants are an adornment to the filter if you would like to have plants. The good thing of it is if you have plants and put them in a BCB basket out in a pond like a, a water lily or something, you will find out that the plant will grow perfectly fine without using fertilizer tablets. And people can't understand that. Like how can your plants grow so great and so many flowers and you mean you haven't used fertilizer tablets ever? You know, and the pond's already 20, 30 years old? Nope, never have. And your plants are that green and that vibrant? Nope, never have. May add some iron to the pond, but that's about it. Anyhow, I thought I would make that clear that this misinformation that people are giving, it's just that. It's misinformation. People need to learn. Anoxic filters and plenums are all dependent upon bacteria. Plants are secondary. They're not even a primary thing. In fact, you can put plastic plants in a plenum or an anoxic filter if you want. You can put plastic. Really, you don't need plants. Plants are, are not needed. So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope for those people who've been sending me emails about uh, this video that has been brought out by Bentley uh, no, he's wrong. And Bentley is more than happy to contact me, talk to me. He wants to be educated correctly. I'll be more than happy to. But like I said, a lot of these YouTubers, they, uh, they don't want to. Misinformation is more, uh, for their sake, better than giving the right information. Because the only thing I can think of is why. Why are you giving the wrong information? The filter's been out long enough. There's enough information over in Italy, United States, United Kingdom. Why are you giving out the wrong information after the filter's been out for like 35 years and they're still giving out the wrong information? So until next time, this is Dr. Novak. Thank you very much for watching.